Many in Brandon crowded the streets to participate in an old town tradition, kicking off the 4th of July weekend. Our Haley Morgan takes us there. What started out as a small town tradition has grown into a big event in the town of Brandon that pulls hundreds of people out to the streets. It's a patriotic thing to do. The Brandon Independence Day Parade has been around for almost 50 years now, originally starting in 1976. This year, there were over 50 participants in the lineup with various different floats and emergency responders. 97-year-old World War II veteran Burt Reynolds, who has been a part of the parade for years, says it's great to see people out supporting those who fought for America's independence. <laughs> Well, it's because it's an honorable thing to do, and it's been around for many, many years. I'm uh, one of the few World War II veterans, and I, I like to be represented. Back in the day, the parade used to start at Park Village, going all the way down the center of town. Now it begins on Park Street through downtown, ending at Connaught Square. Jamie Godarf is from New York and has been going to the Brandon Independence Day Parade for 30 years. She says it's great for her kids to see the community get out and celebrate. <laughs> Just the kids getting involved and like understanding, you know, what the flag represents and everything is a huge deal. Um, I teach second grade, so we do a lot with uh, Independence Day, and it's just nice, nice for everyone to get together. And the many participants showing off their floats were excited to get in on all the fun. Because independence, everybody independence, they should be free to be who they are, and they should be free to enjoy being in this country and just have fun. <laughs> After the parade, the town spent the rest of the day celebrating with various different activities like music, vendors, and free train rides. In Brandon, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.